am so excited to have Jody Polk and Jessica Barris with me this morning on Spotlight on Business. As you, most people know, they're my absolute favorite. Um, if I stood up, um, which I won't, everybody could see all the um, weight I've gained from eating not only scones now. <laughs> I've added to my repertoire now that they've opened. Um, I think last time we talked, um, you were not in your beautiful bakery. So let's just start there. You are in your beautiful bakery. Um, Jessica, where is this bakery? Give everybody the lowdown where you are located. Okay, we are at Northwestern and Franklin, off of Franklin Road. You'll turn into the Claymore apartment building and you'll drive all the way um, to the back. So you'll look like you're going to a dead end, but you'll veer to the left and then you'll go around the building and we have an awning with our name and there's a few signs on the way to help you. And you'll see our pretty decorations, which will be covered in snow soon, but yeah. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> All of us in Michigan woke up today with a little white surprise. I didn't think that white surprise was coming to today. I thought it was coming a little later, but I guess that um, lends us to the conversation we're gonna have today. Um, and Jody um, had a birthday, Thanksgiving. She's got a, a coffee or iced tea in hand because she's exhausted, <laughs> rightfully so. Um, it's been a whirlwind of opening the bakery, Halloween, right into Thanksgiving, nothing new and different for her, but now we're right into um, the magical time of year. So um, today we're really focusing on the fact that the bakery is open. Um, it's a little challenging for everyone who does live here in Michigan, but those who don't, and I, I stress that because um, what's been really nice is people can call you from outside of Michigan to have things delivered. We'll talk about that in a second. But um, Michigan has some um, lockdown, or not lockdown, but some orders right now where you can't come sit in your beautiful bakery. So Jessica, turn the camera, uh, turn us away a little bit because you can see this beautiful bakery, which normally you can sit at these tables, but look what is going on and out right now. <laughs> these are baskets already Okay, so did, did everybody start having their heart palpitate? Like, <laughs> I know that when they showed me this, I went, okay, okay, I haven't made my list yet. <laughs> but Jody, when did you have time to make those baskets? <laughs> um, yeah, I, I get here really early. I, um, I get up at three, I'm here by four, 4.30. And because we're not, open on um, Sunday, we were able to kind of spread out and, and do our thing, do our magic. Um, we do a lot of baking, obviously, for the baskets. It's a process. Um, we're lucky. We have a lot of help from friends and family. Our, our dear friend, Ron Elkis, happened to stuff all those baskets with uh, peanut uh, packaging peanuts and and tissue paper and put our card on and got it all set. So that's a process that has to get done. And then we have right. to bake and um, yeah, it's, I've been doing it for a long time. Um, I have a dear friend who was pulling the bows for us and everything's just done in a, in a, in an order and somehow it works. Um, I'm happy to get these out early because there are plenty of people who are not ready and will be, calling us <laughs> and we'll be hopefully calling us and, and needing orders and yeah. we we got like six orders came in today and we're not open today either um so it, it's good people can order online and um you know <laughs> so this is really you know for those who are learning about culinary combo versus those who already knew culinary combo this was like really how you started really i mean in part the bakery part the baskets, the bas the boxes. And now, I mean, what's so beautiful is you have this gorgeous bakery that people can come in and pick up, you know, when they need their fix. But, you know, this time of year, you have this beautiful bakery that really allows you the space now to spread out and, and, and make those beautiful baskets. Um, 
what I love about the baskets this time of year, and it's important to kind of stress that the baskets are a great way of saying thank you to your doctor's offices, to any, you know, to your, your insurance office, to, to your hairdresser, to, you know, but you're supporting a, a small business, giving probably to another business who then in fact learns about you, which I always like that reciprocation. And I think that that always has happened with you people. I know that I was telling you over the weekend, somebody, we put you on TV and then somebody said, well, what was that company you used? And, and so that's super important that when you use a small business, people learn about a small business. And, and yeah, we learned um, the power of the little, our little card, our yeah. tag that's attached to the basket. Uh, I can't tell you how much thought went into that because we would have friends who would say, well, once we used to do a sticker and once the paper's gone, the sticker's gone and nobody knows who it's from. Now we attach it to the basket. So as long as that basket's still there, that tag is still there. But it's true that getting people to know our name and know our brand has been definitely challenging. Um, and what's challenging this year is there are offices that are closed. So we do a lot of referral um, business and I, I have to stress to my customers, you've got to make sure these offices are open before you send them. So what a lot of my customers are doing, they're calling, some of them are sending them to the people's homes instead. Mm -hmm. it, it's a totally yeah. different year. It's, it, everything is different. <laughs> and uh, we're just kind of rolling with the punches <laughs> and going with it, how, whatever they want yeah. uh, to make it happen. But we do well, have a lot I of think that. And I think I learned that by mistake, I went to go send to someone yeah. <laughs> and early on and not really thinking that they wouldn't be there. And it is, and, and then I had you on a wild goose chase by accident, of course, but the truth is that we are, we, we do something good, but we forget that not all people are in their offices. People, so many people are going to be working from home. They, they are working from home during the holidays too, but that doesn't mean you don't wanna say thank you. Um, you, you offer different prices. Are there, are there different sizes and prices for people? So we have gift boxes, which start at $28. And then this year, uh, special for Hanukkah, we have a Hanukkah themed one. And then for Christmas, we have a holiday cookie one, which is a little more, I think it's $32. And it's um, a dozen and a half like holiday cookies. It's got hot chocolate biscotti, gingerbread men, eggnog cookies, like a great, array of different flavors that are like holiday themed and then we have our baskets which start at fifty dollars and can go all the way up to two hundred dollars whatever you want to spend so i think that's amazing and and one of the tricks um one is anyone listening out of town who wants to utilize you and people in town who are utilizing you that with everything in a pandemic world and you're going to hear this all over the news and we're starting to is shipping is a problem this year. I don't think that's a abnormal story um, in, in any holiday season, but I think that we have seen mail and shipping to be an issue this year. This year. So you all do ship. Um, I have shipped all the way to Florida and I have shipped to um, LA. So I vouch for the fact that um, my clients and people I've had on my podcast are experiencing and loving culinary combo very happily. Um, but, but I have to get my act together. Um, <laughs> those people who are getting um, their act together and shipping today, God bless them for being that organized. I know people think I'm really type A and I really, really am <laughs> about so many things, except for when I call Jody at like, four o'clock on a Friday and I go, uh, <laughs> I'm having a dinner um, for you. <laughs> and then she, and then she does it for me, which I shouldn't say, because I'm sure that I definitely get special treatment. So don't do that to her. But, um, the bottom line is what is going to be the cutoff shipping this year? Because people, you have to get your act together. <laughs> We're saying the 18th of December. Yeah. 
And, and honestly, I, I hope it gets there by Christmas. Yeah. There is no guarantees. Um, yeah. It's amazing to me that, you know, we're paying for two day shipping and it automatically goes to three days, sometimes four days. Yeah. And there is nothing you can do about it. It doesn't matter who you use, how you do it, unless you're hand delivering, there's just no, no guarantees. No. And it's really, once we send it out, it's, it's out yeah, of our control. Yeah, it's, really it's, in, it's, in, it's in the hands of the wings yeah. of whoever. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and I think that, you know, that can be frustrating on the customer end, but I think that, you know, I tell people, and I mean this, you have to take on your own ownership too, it, you know, and I'm guilty of that. So, you, you know, if you're going to send something, get your act together, know that you want to say thank you to people, to your family. Um, this is a year where we're not going to be with people like we normally are. And I have been posting um, so much about you because I think that um a lot of people love to take cookies and treats to people's homes when they go. Yeah. Well, they're not necessarily going this year. Mm -hmm. So the best way to go and have those treats is to send them um, and have them delivered. And, and so why not do it? Why not? You know, we, we were so lucky this weekend on Thanksgiving to have the kids here and all weekend long we had Jody's treats on the counter and just nibbled away in a way. At them. Um, but it, you know, I don't bake. I don't pretend to bake. Thank God I do have a mother in law who bakes, and Jody knows that. But I supplement with Jody and Jessica, and um, it's it really is like having love in a box. <laughs> it's and I will tell you, um, even without a pandemic over the years, I've had customers call me and say, okay, I messed up. Uh, it's too late. I know it's too late. I want to do it for New Year's. Yeah. So I have people who mm -hmm. send, you know, happy New Year's yeah. um, or even after New Year's. And then we even have people who do, they don't do their holiday baskets at that time. They do it for Valentine's Day. Yeah. So, well, you know, and I so agree with you because um, I have a friend who does promotional products and we have this conversation all the time. It used to be when you were in an office more and you'd walk in the boardroom and there were just, you know, baskets and baskets and baskets. And which was wonderful, except for how fun it would be on New Year's, you know, or the week after when you got back to work too, to have the start the new year, you know, with a fun tree or, you know, and believe me, I'll see you, you know, at Valentine's day, I'll see you <laughs> long before, but there, there are definitely times of year to use culinary combo, um, that aren't just this holiday. So you and I laughed yesterday when I said, okay, we're doing a FaceTime live and we have other media and you're like, okay you know and i know you'll always Fine. do it fourth of july. <laughs> this is just You're like okay well i said we'll do fourth of july too but you know the, the truth is that it there's no there's no reason to any time to send someone i had a beautiful birthday cake that was so delicious and so now that you're open jessica describe where it is again I, it's really quite easy to yeah. find so North of Northwestern. North of Northwestern on the. Oh, don't ask. Okay. North of Northwestern. <laughs> oh God, don't do, don't do that. Jessica, I know how old you are. Don't I'm try and do North and West. I'm the side where Pizzeria Big Alora yes, is. That's, right. that's how I do it. So everybody there, Northwestern, uh, Franklin Road. If you're like coming Northwestern, start heading towards the Franklin and the Cider Mill. You turn in the Claymore building. It's sort of across from um, Franklin Racquet Club, yeah, yeah. you know, all these, this is how my kids give directions, you know, <laughs> there are no Northeast, West, South, but you just drive towards the back. There's the light blue signs that direct you. There's a great yeah. awning, it says culinary combo. Um, if you, you know, in the summer, you put your windows down, you'll smell the sweet smell. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, pretty soon you will be able to, um, go in i mean you can go in now and get your right. treats but pretty soon you'll be able to go in again and have a cup sit down and have a cup of coffee and and your read your newspaper not right now but 
definitely call to get your baskets, your boxes. Um, you know, I think it's just the perfect gift um, to just say, I love you with something sweet in a box. Um, forget the diet, start the diet in January, who cares? It's right. that it's that time just to not care, you know, don't eat all of them at once. <laughs> don't be like me. <laughs> and so we'll reintroduce our uh, Weight Watcher side, yeah. <laughs> our lighter side box. It's got Weight Watcher points, so we're on it. We're on it. But right oh, now, you're doing that? Are you doing that? Are you? <laughs> we, yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. In January. <laughs> that that sounds that sounds fun. <laughs> I guess I'll, I guess I'll need to think about that, but you do also, um, I guess I'll have to join that one, but you also have gluten-free options. So I think that's important to mention that um, if you do need gluten-free, um, you should um, give a call because um, there are, it, it's really important because I know that not everybody does that, but it's definitely something that people need to know about. And I know, you know, from personal experience, my daughter needs that option. And, um, you know, we have taste tested in our house. We, we are good taste testers here. And the gluten-free is to die for it also. I mean, there is, I, I mean, I don't know what the difference is myself, but she certainly like was, uh, gave rave reviews, so. Yeah, no, that's very important to us. Um, that if it doesn't taste good, if we're not proud of it, we're not putting it out there. We're just, we're just not. And I, there's things that people want and I'll say, you know, I haven't perfected it. I can't sell it to them. I just can't. So while we're not a gluten-free establishment, but we do wear glo change gloves and wash our dishes and um, change papers on the pans and things like that, we're, we're real careful. So, because it's a huge, it, there's a huge demand for that. Yeah. Yeah, from a health standpoint and, and um, but everybody please get organized and get your baskets. Don't wait till December 17th necessarily to think about it and then wanna ship it. Um, but your baskets and boxes, you know, you, you can order pretty much any time of the year. There's, you know, it's not just holiday because here's the best part. Babies are born when babies wanna come and babies come during the holidays. <laughs> so in the midst of, you know, the holidays, if you want a, a baby, um, sometimes you need a Shiva tray during the holidays, unfortunately, too. Those, those life cycle events happen all year round, and um, Jody and Jessica are there for those things, too. So, you know, don't be shy. Um, it isn't just about the holidays. It, they're really there for you for all for all occasions, um, and that's the best part. But right now, if you're thinking about sending um, a holiday basket, get it done. <laughs> so, Please. thank you guys for thank you guys for coming on today. When I know you have to be cooking and baking away, <laughs> and and even taking a little time to rest after a busy holiday. Our pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.